Welcome back for the Mobile Gaming Fanatics. I'm my time, this is Top Drives, and you have seen from that introduction, I was extremely lucky. I was able to pull a BMW M5 competition from, from a ceramic pack. Yes, you heard it right, a ceramic pack. This, I purchased two packs, two packs after the finals for the Porsche, where I came 11th. Yep, missed out on the prize card by one place. Kind of knew it was going to happen. The team just wasn't good enough. What I regret most is using 2,000 or so of my gold on the various cars for that finals. You know, like speeding up cars and for speeding up their recovery from the races and buying tickets, etc. But, but, but the second ceramic pack that I purchased afterwards dropped this BMW M5. And to be honest with you, I've wanted this car for a super long time. So I was extremely, extremely ecstatic to get it. So, yep, very, very, very happy with that. From the rest of the cars, um, I mean, to be honest with you, why did I not manage to get the top 10? Well, it, for once, it wasn't because I didn't do enough races. I was in the top 10. I could get up to 6th, 7th, 5th even for a very small amount of time. The problem was holding on to that place. And the main issue, the main issue being it was the formatic. Now, happy with the upgrades I've done in the X5. I still get use out of them. Happy to max out the Skura. I've already done two upgrades into it. So to the other three, it actually did pretty well in the hairpin road. It, it beat some of the Acuras on some of the other twisty roads, even though they had standard tires. Evo, great car. G37, great car, would have loved to have had two of them. It was just the formatic, which was pretty, pretty underwhelming, to be honest with you. I expected this car to do better than it did. I mean, apart from literally having it for city streets, there was almost no use to have it. So, yep, if I could get 15 ultra rares that I put into this car back, I would gladly take them. But apart from that, we have to look forward. So we've got another Lotus maxed out if the Lotus events comes. We've got a Mercedes maxed out, you know, for wet Merc event. Great. Uh, improved the BMW X5. So th the garage has improved, but not the desired result uh, I would have wanted. But moving forward, it is a brand new week. It's a Monday. We have Aston Martin carbon fibers in the store and we have a brand new challenge system. First of all, I'm going to say to you why I won't be purchasing these Aston Martin packs and not that you shouldn't. But take out the Vulcan, which is a price car, and the 177. I have the two best, technically, by RQs, the two best Aston Martins. So I don't need to go out my way to get these legendary ones. That's my opinion for now. I also have the CC100, which I'll say is the best epic. And I've already fused away a couple of the Volantes, the Vanquish Volantes. I've got a black edition carbon fiber V12 here which I can work on. I've got maxed out Segato, DB10 before it got nerfed. You know, so I've got a few of the epics to help out my legendaries. And then if we scroll down to the ultra rares, I've got a Rapid um, S. I've got a couple of V12s, got the Batone Jet 2 x 2 So I've fused away most of these other ultra rares that I have in the past. DB3S got one of those, and maybe a second one of those I'd keep, but that's about it. So not in a great great need to get aston martin carbon fibers but what i thought i would do would show you my theory to doing well in this event or at least trying to maintain a top 10 rank to get a ceramic pack they are going to have to use four aston martin the fifth car just has to be great exhibition now i'm using a different hand to what i did start with i started with the lagonda here i'll show you very quickly so i started with the lagonda as my wet car because there is at least one wet track in all the circuits um three of them have a twisty slash roady circuity kind of wet one and one is a drag and then i was using a couple of the other ultra rares so i had the repeat s in i had a v12 in and i had the db10 in so i was using all ultra rares epics on one legendary and then the rare lagonda However, I've opted for this with the idea being I'm going to try and win three times and lose gracefully twice. So if we come in and play somebody around me, so somebody who's going to be the first person, this I should have a decent chance of winning. Very easily, I throw the Signet on whatever the wet track is, with the exception of it being the drag. Now, I need to find myself three victories here. 
and then the rest is just left. So what I would suggest doing here for myself is I'm going to put the McLaren on the far circuit. I am going to put the Speedster on the hill climb. I'm going to put the Super Leggero on the twisty and I'm going to let the V8 lose in the slalom. But hopefully it's not going to do too bad, too bad. So my aim is to try and get 170 to 180 points and then try and lose my two races by about 150 that's kind of the average that i'm going for here so if i can sneak a few more points i mean you can see this a legendary versus an ultra rare still only just over 50 points there's only going to be a few circuits slash tracks where you're going to be able to get excess points and unfortunately it is going to be drag based tracks for me so here again in the slalom, I've lost by 113, which looks disastrous, but as long as I win the last race, which I will do in the hill climb, I'll get the victory. So this is the tactic that I've opted for. Now, granted, granted that was somebody who was uh, probably, probably on the edge of the top 10. If I now try and find somebody who is around the top 10, let's look for, we'll just pick, we'll pick, we'll pick straight above me. So we'll pick Dennis Rocker next find him and let's see what his team is like let's just go in again track set's been kind of kind we simply put the signal on the twisty road and lose but we won't lose by too much now i will lose the half mile and there is nothing i can do in the half mile to stop me from losing it the, the beauty that i have here though is i can throw in the f1 short tail in this occasion and still lose because i can get a victory with the v8 vantage on the twisty road leaving myself <coughs> excuse me plenty of options to get points on these two hairpin roads now i haven't done this yet but i can see i can already tell that this is going to be around 150 to 110 something like that so we lose this Okay, knew was going to lose that. Cannot beat that Jaguar. Doesn't matter what I do, I cannot beat it. However, fortunately enough, rather than having the V8 as a throwaway, in this occasion, it becomes a 50-point victor for me. I'm going to win here. It's not going to be many points. It's just going to be another 50-point victory. Oh, slightly more. Okay, that makes that makes a little gives a little bit more breathing room. And all I have to do here is watch the Signet lose, but not lose by too much, and it loses by too much. Okay, so. Oh, we just made it. Phew, I don't know why. I thought it was more. I thought, I'll be honest, I thought it was more points that we lost by there. I don't know why. Um, yep, so lucky. Lucky, but hey, you know, we've we've built we've built this hand to play exactly like this. Now we want to see how it does against Diana or Pietro. Both of those, both of those are above us. Two people that ideally if we can beat would be great, but if not, as long as we can beat the people below us that's what matters now here we're going to see the signet so this is going to be a tricky person to come against because while i can win both the one mark and the g-force test i will most likely lose both fast circuits depending what way i play it um this is okay this is potentially a better matchup especially for my hand we take the twisty road Okay, which we know is going to be a defeat. Now, on the one mile, I know that I can win with the Aston Martin, but I'll get even more points for the victory with the short tail because it's going to have the better MRA. So I think it makes sense to do this and then throw away, throw away our V8 on the G-Force, and this will this will get us a victory. This will get us a victory. Now, unfortunately, when people play against my hand. Obviously, when they've got the Jaguars and they've got the Vulcans, etc., they can maneuver it to beat me. So defensively, my hand is weak, and I expect a lot of the people in the top 10 to be able to play me and beat me. However, when I play them, I have a few options. As long as you get home in time, oh, you bad car, you bad car. Oh, it doesn't matter, but... 
I was hoping it would have lost by a few few less points. But yeah, as long as you know, as long as I'm playing them, I should be able to maneuver my way around the majority of people to give myself a chance of winning. However, I am I am easily beaten as well. Uh, should I should I play Diana just for the sake of it? Very quickly, I'm gonna play it, but I'm gonna skip it. I think. Okay, so we'll just. Here we go, this is the one that I was saying on. So the idea would be a tie. Um, uh, we will try and take, try a fast circuit victory, which I think is gonna be a loss still. Um, we're gonna lose on that far circuit. So I think it's better to try this. I think this is the best way to give me a chance because I should, if I'm gonna get anything, if I get a victory here, I get three victories. Yeah, I get victories including the first ones. Skip it, I lose the last two. Okay, so I can, I can win there. Win the first three races, tie in the second, and lose the third. So that was a track set that worked out for me. However, the track set with a 0 to 100, which is a 1 in 4 chance of having, is the one where I sh will struggle on. Now, we can move across to the challenges, and a new era in the game is going to be the new start of monthly challenge. Now you can click on this bright orange yellowy box at the top and see what is going to happen for the next month of the ARC challenge. We can see here for April, May and June. You will compete, you will get carbon fibers and ceramic packs as rewards and at the end it will culminate in you getting this Chrysler 300 Motown Edition price car. Okay, If we click on this and you can read through all the details yourself, just as a sum up, they have taken away cars as being keys. You are now instead going to win actual key tokens okay so cars like the Alfa Romeo S3 which was a price car in the, in the past those kind of rewards are going but you will need them for this event okay just bear that in mind so other cars for example the Volkswagen buses you could get rid of those now to free up some garage space get some cash back you may keep hold of one of them because of nostalgia reasons because they are prize cars but you do not need to hold on to three four five etc of them anymore however bear in mind you will need your but um, Alfa Romeo S3s and S2s for the moment. Excuse me. So, what happens? Essentially, you will have to play your arc. You will have to qualify. So it's up and running now. Qualify for the arc, which will then grant you access into a special monthly challenge, which will start in May. And then by doing well in that monthly challenge, the clue here is eight or four. Um, People are suggesting it could be Vauxhall slash Opal because that would be what the actual title looks like. It says Vauxhall, which got eight letters, then slash Opal, which is four. So it's, it's a good shout. And in the qualifying rounds, it shows you what your requirements are going to be and what you could win. So you're going to need one arc, seven key. So you're going to have to complete the qualifier to get that key. And then you're going to need one S3. And to finally complete it, you need two S3s and you also get six slots. Now for me, I do not have two S3s, so I would be able to get only up to round four. However, I will complete the qualifier to get my first key. Now, if you get all three keys, you are then able to enter and try and win the Chrysler Motown, okay? I will not be able to get all three keys. I cannot get the Chrysler Motown. If you do not have any of the S3s or S2s, you also cannot get the Chrysler Motown. However, you can still get the final S car. Okay, so make sure you get your keys. You will need at least two keys. So two keys from April, May and June to begin with. Now, it scrolls down, tells you some more stuff, tells you the new, new format, etc. And how you get to the Veterans Monthly Challenge. But you need to have beaten at least two qualifiers from the two previous arcs. So... Essentially, what they are saying is you will need to win all, all three arcs to get a key from all three arcs to get the current price car. So for here, it will be April, May and June. You need to get a, a key from each arc and then you can have a chance to get the Chrysler as long as you have two Alfa Romeo S3s, two Alfa Romeo S2s and then the three arc keys. Now, in arc 8, which is going to end in September, so that's going to be July, August and September. In order to get the B56 Vauxhall Forenza, you will need two ARC keys from ARC 7. So the April, May and June, you need to have at least two of them. You will need two Alfa Romeo Spider S3s and then three ARC keys from ARC 8. So you need to get all three from 8, 
but you only have to have had two from Arc 7 and have two of the Spy Romeo, Spy la, 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 Alpha Romeo Spider S3s to get the Forenza or have a chance to get it at least. Now, again, another car I will not be able to get because I do not have two Spider S3s, I only have one. However, everyone can get the S84, the Maserati Birdcage Special 75th Edition, okay? Everyone can get that everyone if you're playing now you can get it because all you need to do is get two keys from arc 8 two keys from arc 7 and all three keys from arc 9 which means for october november december you must 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 each month complete the qualifier challenge in order to get the keys and you must have completed at least two of the three challenges for the periods from april to june and july to september you don't have to have all three so if you do miss out on a month in each three uh, period lot then as long as you get them all in the last three months you can still get that maserati birdcage it does not require any special cars okay now if you are worried about what the cars are we've seen the motown up there you can go to my cars and you can check them uh to be honest with you probably probably do the best way to do it just to go through manufacturers so we've got the bird cage well, we've that we've seen we've got the bird cage and we've got the voxel so we'll do the voxel first here scroll along there it is the prize car 5.4 80 hand in slick tires um i don't think it's going to be a game changing car to be honest with you. i mean it's not awful it is extremely light so 900 but slick it's very specialist very special especially with low ground clearance it's the kind of thing you're going to be using in karting circuits and slaloms that kind of thing but that's about it however every person can get a legendary yep the maserati is going to be available for everyone new players and experienced players here it is 84 rq 3.70 to 68 8 handling 217 top speed now while it isn't going to drastically change a lot of people's game just because it's not an amazing legendary it is a free legendary and again anybody who has been playing the game for any amount of time currently can still get this car okay so to get it to start your way to get it anyway you are going to want to work on your first key and that is going to be completing the monthly challenge which you will have just under eight days to do um, as you see back to the five attempt system so you will see five attempts 195 RQ all the first five with the same requirements USA 195 then we hit a 200 RQ we must have the requirements remain the same for the next day's five attempts then once we get to 10 11 changes again and this format follows all the way up to 25 with the top prize being you getting your key your first arc key for arc 7 now under cards at the moment will include a ceramic pack at 20 as we scroll down again you're going to get cash 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 and you're going to be able to work your way towards getting in the veteran challenge at the beginning of may so that is going to be the key in the veteran challenge is where you'll be able to win a carbon fiber pack that will be the final reward so that is what you're going to be aiming for make sure you get this done five you can do five attempts a day you can clear five a day just under eight days to do it so essentially you can have three days off and still get this completed or you can have three days where you're stuck and you don't have the cars to get through you can work on them etc and then complete it the next day but just make sure if you can you complete that if you want to get those rewards now i'm not going to do a walkthrough with it at the moment because i think it'll make this video go too long it's already been long enough hasn't it but if people get stuck or it looks like it is quite challenging especially later on then i will happily do each day a quick five um five rounds showing you the cars that i used so you can try and copy something similar yourself if you're getting stuck anyway let me know in the comment section below if that's something you'd be interested in i've been my time as ever how did you do in the porsche finals hopefully you didn't come 11th which is the worst place to come but if you did hopefully you had some good luck on the ceramic packs just like me thank you very much for watching i've been my time and i'll see you all soon